use this give collocation, fishy idiom, and business phrasal verb to boost your exam score. Hello and welcome. I'm Professor Wynn, certified English professor for more than 14 years now. And here we are at episode 70 of the English Language Test Prep Radio Podcast, Vocabulary Report number 7. I'm the host of the English Language Test Prep Radio Podcast and author of the EnglishLanguageTestPrep.com blog. The blog dedicated to strengthening both your English test skills and word power so you're ready for the big exam day. Welcome to your new vocabulary report to help you increase your English word power. Each vocabulary report covers collocations, idioms, and phrasal verbs, and those special expressions called proverbs, which give you advice about general things in life. All are essential for a high vocabulary score. As you know, you can sharpen your vocabulary to help you in all parts of the IELTS, TOEFL, PTE, and TOEIC exams. Decide now to ramp up your word power for a stronger test performance. Subscribe today for free access to vocabulary posts throughout the week to help boost your performance on the exam. Simply go to BIT. Dot ly slash exam e sub and subscribe to get started today at my exam English vocabulary page on Substack. I encourage you to become a premium subscriber so that you gain all full access to the vocabulary report and the other content available on the Substack. In the vocabulary report, you learn three less common vocabulary terms three collocations, idioms, phrasal verbs, and that proverb for a powerful vocabulary lesson every two weeks on Thursday. For my premium subscribers, please visit the blog post for this episode for the full presentation at bit.ly slash eer007. Let's get started with your free preview of the vocabulary report so you can increase your word power. As always, we start with an inspirational quote, which comes from, a f from Robert F. Kennedy. Only those who dare to fail greatly can ever achieve greatly. Well, that's what the vocabulary report is all about, is to help you to achieve greatly when you take the IELTS, TOEFL, TOEIC, or PTE exam. Now, let's review your vocabulary lesson today. The vocabulary term, capricious. The give collocation, give birth. The fishy idiom, there are plenty of fish in the sea. And the business phrasal verb, burn out. First, the less common vocabulary term, capricious an adjective that means unpredictable, random, or impulsive. Example, in a capricious decision, Josh flew to London for the weekend. Your collocation, your give collocation, give birth, meaning to have a baby. Example, Jessica gave birth to Natalie at 3.45 a.m. Another fishy idiom, there are plenty of fish in the sea. Meaning, well, usually after a breakup, well, there are other people to date. For example, when Ivan broke up with Sheila, her friend told her that there were plenty of fish in the sea. Phrasal verb, burn out. Meaning, to become extinguished or exhausted. And this is an inseparable phrasal verb, so burn it out must be together in the sentence. Example, Laura's candle burned out at the end of the night. In conclusion, thank you for joining me for the vocabulary report number seven to strengthen your word power before you take the TOEFL, IELTS, TOEIC, or PTE exams. Learn more vocabulary words, collocations, idioms, and phrasal verbs, and, yes, the proverb, to boost your exam score. 
you should subscribe to my exam English vocabulary substack for free access at bit.ly slash exam e sub if you're really serious about increasing your vocabulary before the exam. You get free online access to the various vocabulary posts throughout the week. And yes, think about upgrading to the premium subscription so you get full access to all the valuable information I post, including, well, what my valued premium subscribers receive every two weeks, the vocabulary report. And my valued premium subscribers, please visit bit.ly slash eer007 to study the full report for vocabulary report number seven. I look forward to providing you with valuable vocabulary lessons. Good luck studying your TOEFL, IELTS, TOEIC, or PTE exam for the highest score possible. Until the next vocabulary report, I am Professor Wynn.